Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade the Walksnail Avatar firmware. So in the grand scheme of things, companies do release new firmware and you know, they're trying to improve their products, but sometimes we find that they just mess something up. And it's an unfortunate thing, and it does happen occasionally. And that's happened recently with the latest Walksnail firmware. So a lot of people are downgrading their firmware just to get back that performance until these bugs are ironed out. But we're gonna go through the process right now of getting your firmware downgraded. So the first thing that we want to do is go to this website. Now this is avatar-firmware.d3vl.com. I'll put a link in the video description. And you can see here they have all the official and beta firmwares. So we can choose what we want. So this one, yeah, they're saying it's beta. It's no longer beta. Um, it is a stable release. And this is the one that's causing problems. So a lot of people are downgrading to the last stable release of the Avatar firmware. Now, the thing with downgrading is you can't just download the file and put it on your goggles because it will say you've got a newer version, it can't do the flash. So instead, what we have to do is trick it. And this website is brilliant because it's got this little box here that says downgrading. And when you tick that, it will say downgrade as 90.40.5 and that's the version number that it will put on the file. So what we'll do is just download the files and we'll get it installed. So I'm going to download the goggle file. I'm just gonna put it on the desktop and I'm gonna download the sky file. Right, so let's take a look at those. And you can see that it has actually just downloaded image files. But um, one thing it hasn't done, which I thought it might have been able to do is, is rename it for you. So let's get that website back up and we'll make this a bit smaller. And what we're gonna to have to do is rename these files. So this is the version we want here. So let me just, I'll do it so you can see it is rename it and we're just going to rename where it says 30 we're going to change it to 90 where it says 37 we're going to change it to 40 and where it says 10 we're going to change it to 5 and we'll do that on the sky file too okay so now we've renamed our files the flashing process is the same as always now what i'm going to do is flash the goggles just to show that working because there's one question that people usually have when you start renaming these version numbers. And what we'll do is we'll check that once we get everything set up and running. Right, so before we get started, I've just connected the goggles and let's go into the menu. So let me go down to device and device info. And we can see here that I'm on version 33.39.10. Ignore the firmware version on the transmitter. I've not actually updated this one yet um, because it's basically one I'm using on the bench at the moment. So that's why that's an older firmware version, but the process will still work. Right, so let's power down the goggles and get this firmware updated. So the first step, eject the SD card. Lose the SD card because it's in a stupid position. Right, now you put your SD card in your SD card reader or some way of getting it on your computer. When that plugs in, you may find that yours automatically appears. If it doesn't, open Windows Explorer. And what we're gonna do is just copy the ground file onto the goals. Now it does say in the instructions to format your SD card, but to be honest, I haven't done that in a while and there have been no problems. So we'll just copy that file across. Um, all you need to do is make sure that there's no other .img files on this SD card. They probably tell you to format it just to be safe, but as long as there are no other image files on the SD card, it won't flash the wrong version, so it's all good. And you don't then lose all your user fonts that um, you put on there or any videos or anything like that. So we've got our image file on the goggles SD card, so now let's just eject that and put it back in the goggles. Now we need to power back on. Oh, hang on, there we go. And when you get this standby screen, we can start the update process. So get your really tiny little tool and put it in the hole for about eight seconds. When the screen goes off, then you can let go. Okay, 
Okay, so now it's beeping, it's rebooting. And when it does this, it will start doing the flashing process and it's just gonna start beeping at you. And it will keep beeping at you for about five minutes. There we go. Put up with this for a bit. <laughs> and when it stops beeping and reboots, the firmware is flashed and I'll come back to you then. Right, that long beep means that it's finished. It's now gonna reboot and we'll soon get the video back. So again, I won't bore you waiting for it. Okay, so we now have our picture back. Sorry, I am pointing over here. You can just about see the edge of my other monitor here. <laughs> uh, but this is what I'm looking in to see in the goggles. So let's go into the menu and we'll go to settings, device. Now, before we actually go into the device info, this was one question that people had. We've renamed these files so 9045 in this case. The version, the next version number is probably gonna be 34 something, or maybe. It seems like that number increments, but it's not gonna be that high. So how can we install the newer firmware once this is done? And the answer is, this just renames the file, not the firmware. So if I click on device info, if I click, if I click on device info, we'll see that we're now on firmware version 3237.10. So even though we renamed the file, that's just to trick the initial starting of the process. The firmware still has the original firmware version number. So when we install a newer firmware, it will just write straight over the top of this one. The process for updating the uh, Sky unit is exactly the same. I've got another video on flashing firmware to these avatar systems, so I'll put a link in the, the top corner, then you can watch that to flash. But all you need to do is click that downgrading box and that will allow you to downgrade the firmware to whatever version you want and it will all be good again until the next you know, stable future version comes out that fixes the problems which is forcing us to get downgrade at this point but anyway i hope you found this video useful if you did please give it a thumbs up and also clicking the subscribe button and bell icon that will help get this video out to more people but there's probably stuff on the channel that you'll enjoy too so please check it out thank you very much for watching guys fly your models like you stole them and i'll see you on the next one